Phoenix Wright is a game that doesn't have any voice acting unless it's So for the most part, all you hear are beeps and jingles. What it does have is an amazing soundtrack. We're going to be looking at one particular soundtrack common to all the games, the Pursuit theme. This song is the You're F***ed song that plays when you've caught the culprit in court and now you're driving the final nail in their guilty coffin. We'll be ranking these themes under the scope of intensity and urgency. Intensity deals with the tempo, rhythms, melodies, and interaction of instruments. Think of it like drinking coffee, black coffee being the most intense, while a triple triple milk, cream, and sugar is the least intense. In this case, a slow tempo, easy to follow rhythm, and small number of instruments would garner a low intensity. On the other hand, a fast tempo, a complex rhythm, and a cavalcade of instruments would evoke high intensity. Urgency is particularly for songs of aggressive nature, like an action or a horror or thriller song. It invokes a feeling of fight or flight. Songs that are meant to make you feel like you can conquer a mountain, or songs that can make you feel uneasy and afraid to move forward. The better they are at making you feel this way, the higher the urgency. With that in mind, let's take a look at all of the Phoenix Wright Pursuit themes. The OG, the iconic, Corner. The tempo of the song is dictated by the chime bit intro, which stays throughout the song. It's fast and aggressive, and if it wasn't tense enough, the main voice and supporting instruments begin to play. The main voice sounds like this heroic ballad of justice supported by a bass and drums, all while playing around the intro of the song. When the intro first played, I had the smirkiest smirk of all time. Right then and there, I felt like it was over for the guilty party. Because of the intro chime bits that play throughout the song, it maintains this pursuit of justice feeling. The melody evokes a feeling of ultimate catharsis, because after unweaving a web of lies, you stayed true to your heart and forged your way forward until you found the truth and exposed it in the court of justice. Intensity, 4 out of 5. Urgency, 5 out of 5. This is unofficially the theme song of Phoenix Wright, and rightfully so. This song oozes of catharsis, and it's extremely satisfying to hear once you've finally caught the bad guy. Questioned has the same tempo as the first game but chose to use a woodwind instrument as the main voice. Because of the woodwind lead and supporting voices, the song lacks in the bass department and airs on the floaty melody. The staccato 8-bit jitters do an excellent job of keeping the song fast-paced. Unfortunately, the bass is drowned out by the woodwind instruments and the drums simply exist to keep time if it could even be heard at all. The melody feels very mystical, which fits the game's theme as Pearl Fay is introduced. However, the choice to center that as the reason to make this Pursuit theme I feel is misguided. It doesn't feel like I've solved the crime. It feels like at the end of a Scooby-Doo chase, and we've finally revealed who done it. The same principle, but different mood. The intro is very similar in that it stays with the song as the song goes, but the feeling is much, much different. Intensity, 3 out of 5. Urgency, 3 out of 5. While I enjoy this theme, I don't feel like I've caught the bad guy red-handed. It lacks the gotcha, bitch. feel. <laughs> Caught is deceiving. It sounds slow because of the intro, but it's actually the same tempo as Cornered. 
The echoey, low, jittery bit sound carries the tempo of the song. There are two voices in the song that I feel like they're fighting for dominance. This itself creates a unique intensity that has to be understood with context, and I'll get to that in a bit. The two melodies are quite simple, but when played together, weave a complex barrage of sound that is quite impressive for the Game Boy Advance's soundboard. That whistle, or main voice that you hear in the main melody, you would think that represents Phoenix, but it does not. In fact, the whistle is Gato. The whistle doesn't sound triumphant at all. It sounds somber and lonely, much like how Gato felt when he heard of Mia's death. This is much more his theme than Trials and Tribulations is. Phoenix is represented as the 8-bit chime heard in the intro. The main whistle and the 8-bit chimes are dissonant to each other at times as their melodies clash, but at the same time are oddly harmonic. This is reminiscent of Phoenix and Gato both fighting for the truth, but Gato's vendetta against Phoenix keeps them at odds with each other. Intensity, 3 out of 5. Urgency, 2 out of 5. Special Thematic Score, 5 out of 5. As I broke down the song, I began to realize how large of a scope this song encompassed. While not the most thrilling song, it's definitely the most interesting and most layered. If you're not head bopping or foot tapping, you are a soulless husk that needs Jesus. Overtaken hits you right away from the first note and keeps the intensity with its fast paced aggressive melody. Keeping with the pursuit formula, the intro stays throughout the song. The main voice and the new instruments enter into the chorus and perfectly complement the intro. There's a battle synth bass that I really like because it puts you in this fighting mood. Even though there are so many instruments playing at once, the song perfectly balances everything so all of them can be heard and each voice has an impact. There are no slow sections or breakdowns because Apollo is too hot-headed to stop. This song is so hot-blooded and upbeat that I can't help but smile and head bop. Apollo Justice is the new kid on the block. So the departure from the 8-bit sounds to the upgraded DS soundboard is so refreshing and such an objectively correct way to bring Apollo in. Like the song feels like it belongs in a Street Fighter stage. Yeah, well duh, cause it's Capcom, but still! This song is so aggressively anti-villain and so perfectly cathartic that I really can't put it into words. So just listen to the rest of the song while I give out the scores. The very suspenseful intro to Lying Coldly is abruptly concluded with three orchestra hits that crescendo into the chorus. The quick pace of change in volume skyrockets the intensity of this song. The battle piano! Like of course Edgeworth would have a piano accompanied by a string orchestra. What else? The drums also keep a very quick tempo with the hi-hat plus snares combo that are accompanied by this bass with a bass groove that no human can play and the instruments dance around the drum and bass effortlessly. The melody is relentless and complex. It knows when to quiet down and build suspense, and knows when to resolve the suspense. This song feels like Edgeworth is waiting for you to understand how screwed you are. The melody sounds so condescending and overpowering, which perfectly reflects Edgeworth's personality. Lying Coldly is the perfect antithesis to Phoenix Wright's Cornered. Cornered is the cathartic end of unraveling the truth, whereas Lying Coldly proudly proclaims that it knew the end result all along, and Edgeworth is helping your stupid ass come to that conclusion. Intensity, 
5 out of 5. Urgency, 5 out of 5. Capcom's sound team hit a home run with this theme, because I cannot imagine a more perfect theme for the prodigy prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth. The Hammer to the Head Orchestra hit, followed by a Van Halen-esque synth intro? Intense? Check. Similar to the first game's intro, Wanting to Find the Truth is broken down by three orchestra hits that make way for the chorus. However, this time, with the string instruments as the lead voice instead of a piano. The drums are once again an impactful reason why this song is so aggressive, as the hi-hats, snares, and bass attack the beat. The rhythm is a bit different in that halfway through the song, it felt like the song was already resolved. But I'll get to that in a bit. There's a section of the song that plays a guitar solo and slows down the song, and what follows is this incredibly long, suspenseful buildup. Why is that? Well... This song is played backwards. Let me explain. The song starts at the answer and ends with the question. So let's start with the question segment, which is when the guitar solo slows down the song. The guitar solo sounds unresolved, like there's something missing. Now, normally you'd follow an unresolved section of a song with a conclusion to answer with, but instead what follows is this long buildup that sets us up for the answer, and that answer is... the intro. The first sound of the intro is the most important because it acts as not only an aggressive sound to urge the player to action, but is also the answer to the unresolved second half. This song perfectly plays as a Miles Edgeworth song, as you, Edgeworth, are leading the culprit to their guilty acts. Simply put, Edgeworth, answer. Culprit, questions. Intensity, four out of five. Urgency, five out of five. The song dances with these motifs in mind in this incredibly masterful piece. Performed by the Professor Layton Orchestra, this is Casting Magic. Some melodies, namely the intro, was taken from the first game, but the song itself is original. This song is slower than the ones previously, and it's incredibly intense, but for all the wrong purposes. This song weaves a story where the chorus is epic and grandiose, and the bridge is somber and sad, but then loops back to being epic and grandiose. The very commanding trumpets lead the charge in this song, while the string orchestras and the percussion instruments support them. This truly is an amazing piece, and is as intense as a theme can get. Oh wait, sorry, what? We were in a courtroom? Oh, it sounded like we were in a final showdown of an epic JRPG. Does this really fit in the courtroom? It really doesn't feel like I cornered a bad guy and exposed his crime through evidence. It feels like I just fought a final boss. I understand that they're trying to show that this isn't just a Phoenix Wright game, namely with the Pursuit song structure changed, as in the intro no longer continues into the song. It tells this story that I've mentioned in the intensity portion, and simply for that reason I cannot understand the decision for this Pursuit theme. I'm not solving a case, I'm fighting to save the universe from destruction. Intensity, 5 out of 5. Urgency, 1 out of 5. Understand that we're trying to solve a case, not save the world. You guessed it, Athena's theme. Sparky, upbeat, and shocks you right from the beginning. The melody is very encouraging and very chase-centric. 
The guitar solo plays an excellent widget moment as a break before the final payoff as Athena finally uncovers the truth behind the case. They use a synth drum set that gives this newer gen vibe and I think it's a nice touch. That being said, its high paced tempo really gives the feel of pressuring your opponent. The instrument that I could say single handedly carries this intensity is the bass. The inhuman bass rhythm as well as a soulful solo that plays alongside the guitar is something else. Keep Pressing On definitely gives off the Pursuit vibe that you expect from a Phoenix Wright game. The second variation solidifies this piece as Athena's theme, evident from the sparkly chimes in the intro, as well as everywhere else in the song. The trumpets are an especially nice addition because they exude that gotcha, bitch! mood. Intensity, 4 out of 5. Urgency, 4 out of 5. This is an excellent use of the 3DS's soundboard and an excellent addition to the Pursuit roster. The Great Turnabout is a somewhat fast orchestra piece. There are a lot of instruments at play and they seamlessly ebb and flow with each other. The melody is complicated and takes different turns even as it repeats. Contrary to many orchestra pieces, the song is always loud, so while this evokes great intensity, it sacrifices urgency at a great cost. Is it tea time? I think it's tea time. The impact of an orchestral piece are the dynamic changes in volume, where the softer, quieter parts accent the loud, emphatic parts. The great turnabout is always loud. I understand there's a whole time period aesthetic they're trying to accommodate, but in an effort to make it aggressive, they lose the impact of how an orchestra can really express emotion. Anyways, intensity, four out of five. Urgency, one out of five. Back to sipping tea, because I really don't feel like I solved the crime. Cornering Together has this 80s synth mood and is an interesting choice. It starts right away with a bang and a super cool synthwave ballad as an intro. Unfortunately, although being a mainline Phoenix Wright entry, they've strayed away from the pursuit formula and chose not to keep the intro throughout the song. The uniform drum beats, no hi-hat, and lack of syncopation kills the intensity of the song. They do incorporate a string orchestra in some parts of the song, but in truth, they add nothing to the overall intensity of the song. Only through the build-up at the end does the song have some semblance of intensity. I was so ready for a Hotline Miami style over Pursuit theme, but was let down by the melody and the main synth voice. It sounds so sad and dejected, and not at all triumphant and victorious like I had hoped for. I cannot fathom how poorly they just decided to make this. Even in the second variation, the iconic orchestra hits are just sprinkled on without thought. It's off beat and it's off... it's just off. It's as if they're just letting you know, yeah, this is the second variation and nothing more. Intensity, 2 out of 5. Urgency, 1 out of 5. It feels like I'm watching Kung Fury in slow motion. Well, there you have it. I scored every Pursuit theme. It feels like the newer entries were simply trying to fit an aesthetic rather than give the player a sense of dramatic catharsis. On the whole, Phoenix Wright has some of the most memorable soundtracks in gaming today, and its soundtracks are often used by YouTubers and streamers alike to emphasize something or to set a mood. If you haven't played a Phoenix Wright game, you definitely should. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? No. No, stop. No, 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 not that one. No, 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 no!